Let's uh, speak about the luxury market outlook. All the brands under your umbrella are within the ultra luxury segment. Would you say that the Asian region is now in a post COVID-19 recovery phase in your segment? Well, yes, I think we, you know, I mean, China particularly, you know, being the first one to be, you know, uh, heavily impacted by COVID, obviously, is, you know, the first one to really come out of it very strongly. For some of the other uh, markets within the region, that particularly those that were, or, you know, very dependent on mainland Chinese tourists, there, of course, you know, they're still not seeing the, the resumption of travel as we saw, you know, pre-COVID. So, but domestic clients, you know, in all those markets that we operate, you know, are obviously not traveling either. So I think we, you know, we're now trying, to, we're all trying to cultivate, you know, more relationships with some of the, the local customers. But certainly I think uh, Asia is, is doing better in terms of business for, for the luxury groups, maybe than in, in other parts of the world that are, you know, still being impacted by, by COVID. And secondly, that obviously, you know, are also very dependent on tourism not just tourism from from Asia, but, you know, also, you know, if you've uh, been to London or Paris, you know, in the summer, there are a lot of uh, tourists coming from other parts of the world as well. So, yes, uh, overall, I think uh, Asia is doing better, but China has really, you know, come out of uh, COVID very strong. So uh, we're very grateful for that.